Hey guys, my name is Thomas Brush and I am the creator of a game called Pinstripe. Pinstripe was released on Steam, GOG, um, in April this year. Uh, after five years of development, I finally released my first real big commercial project. And I want to share with you my top five pieces of software that I used to make Pinstripe. And these top five pieces of software will also help you build your own video game studio. So number one, what is number one? Let's see. Oh, it's Unity. Of course, it's Unity. You've got to download Unity. You've got to learn Unity. Unity is incredible. So the reason it's called Unity is because Unity allows you to port to pretty much any platform you need to port to. So for me, I built Pinstripe in Unity and I've had the ability to port to PC, Mac, and Linux. And now I'm currently porting to Xbox and PlayStation. And it's been such a smooth process and we're gonna release early next year. So give Unity a, a try. Um, they have some amazing resources, they really do. I mean, not only do they teach you about the, the, um, the tools you can use within Unity, they also have some tutorials that teach you even how to code. So learning C Sharp, for example, C Sharp is an incredible uh, language to code in and they'll, they have some amazing tutorials um, on Unity. So yeah, check out Unity, download it, it's free to use. Um, it's an amazing piece of software, so that's number one. Number two, Photoshop, especially if you're going to be making 2D games. I, I spend maybe six hours a day in Photoshop out of my full work day. Um, I'm back and forth between Unity Photoshop, Unity Photoshop, Unity Photoshop. The really cool thing about Photoshop and Unity is if I save a, a Photoshop file, let's say a big image of a beautiful stormy sky that I'm going to use in my, in my game, uh, I save it as a PSD and I can open it up inside of Unity and double click on it in Unity, open it in Photoshop, back and forth, back and forth. And it allows me to make tweaks to the graphics at real time. I can even click the play button in Unity, make edits to my Photoshop file, and Unity will update it real time while the game is playing. It's just an incredible um, relationship that Unity and Photoshop have. Um, so give, give Photoshop a try. I'm sure most of you have, have used Photoshop before. Um, it's really easy to learn. Um, really, you can't get away <laughs> with making video games, I think, without, without Photoshop. Even if you're making a 3D game, you're gonna be spending time in Photoshop. So that's number two. Number three, Logic Pro. You've gotta download it. It's incredible. I love Logic Pro. Logic Pro has a lot more, um, a huge wide, sort of set of tools and instruments that you can use. Um, my simple workflow that I use with Logic Pro, which Logic Pro is where all my music comes from. That's how, that's how I write all my music. Um, Pinstripe has about 20 songs and I, I wrote them all using Logic Pro. My simple workflow that I've been using is I just get my keyboard. It's sort of a weighted keyboard. Um, it feels like a grand piano. I stick it on my desk, plug it into my iMac um, with a something called an audio box. It's, it's like a hundred bucks and um, you just plug in your keyboard to the audio box. The audio box connects to the iMac via USB. And then I can sort of play something I've written just a really stupid, you know, I don't even know how to write music. I, I don't know how to read music or write it out, but I just play some notes on my keyboard um, and slowly through sort of a guess and check process, um, use all the Logic Pro, Pro tools. And what ends up happening is we've got a pretty awesome sounding song, um, mainly because I, I wouldn't take the credit, but Logic Pro is just really awesome. So, Last one that I absolutely, hmm, Unity Photoshop, what, am I number four? I'm on number four. So number four, best piece of software or absolutely 100% necessary software that you need to use for your video game studio. Um, and this specifically applies for 2D games is something called Spine 2D. So back in the dark ages of video game development, I think many of you might remember this um, if you, you've tried making games. In order to animate something, you had to learn Blender, and Blender is, I, ha I hate it, it's horrible. Blender is a free piece of software, and it's for 3D, 3D design and animation, and basically, if you, if you need to use Blender, if you, you, have to, you have to know like a billion hotkeys, and if you're someone like me that doesn't have good memory, you just, you're not gonna be able to use Blender. So Spine shows up, Spine 2D, 
and it's like the most simple piece of software and it can do exactly what I needed Blender to do. Um, you create your skeleton, uh, you attach some PNG images to the skeleton to sort of make it, made, let's say a player or a character, um, and then you export it and it syncs up with Unity. And this is why I love Unity, back to Unity. Um, Unity allows, it has so much integration with so many other pieces of software. So I've got Spine connected to Unity, I've got Photoshop connected to Unity, and it's just an incredible tool that connects all these things. And in the case of Spine 2D, I just export my file, my animation, and it syncs up like perfectly with Unity's animation um, tools. So I can have all these different states, um, a run state, a walk state, a turn state, um, a jump state for my player. I export it and they all show up inside of Unity and I can make transitions between all these different um, animation states. It's how I did it with uh, Pinstripe and it's how I'm doing it with, um, with Once Upon a Coma as well. So give Spine a try, it's really cool. Final piece of software, and I feel really stupid saying this, but my final piece of software that I recommend is Audacity. Audacity is sort of like really, really, really rudimentary form of Logic Pro. So if you don't want to open up Logic Pro and just, I don't know, it feels cumbersome sometimes, I'll just open up Audacity, make an edit to a sound effect. Um, let's say I want a sound effect to fade out, or I want a little bit of reverb on a sound effect. Or let's say I want to make a really creepy, like demonic voice. I'll just have like three layers of different pitches of the same voice inside of Audacity, export it, and I'll be done. Typically what I do with all my sound effects is I'll just go on freesound.org, which is an incredible website. Um, it's just got like a million sound effects from, from all over the world, from people like you and me. Um, and they're free. So I'll download those, I'll open up, open them up in Audacity and um, make some edits. And uh, it's really simple. I mean, it's not, it's not cumbersome at all. You just open it up and you're done with it. So Audacity is kind of like, like a tool I always have in my back pocket that I open every once in a while. But I've been using it since I was like 15 years old and I can't, I can't stop using it. It's incredible. So those are my top five. What do you think? In the comment below, um, so those are my top five. What do you guys think? I'm trying to sound cool here. Um, so those are my top five. What do you guys think? Just write in the comments below what you think. <sighs> so like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. That'd be awesome. I think what would be really, really cool is if you guys checked out my uh, first commercial release called Pinstrive. It used all the five pieces of software I mentioned. Um, and if you give it a playthrough, you'll kind of see where all these pieces of software um, were used in the game's development. It also supports the studio and my family. So thanks a lot, guys. Um, take it easy.